Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, basic functions in Excel, mean, median, and mode. Here's the basic table that we have with names of students and their scores in a particular test. These are out of 100. Uh, and we need to do some quick analysis on how this class has performed over a period of, uh, for, for this particular test, for example. So again, the three things we talked about is mean, median, and mode. Uh, the formula for mean here is we'll just use average and select the cells that you want to average and these are the cells that are under the score um, heading. You can see that the average is around 68. So if you want to give a general idea to somebody, you know, how the class is performed, on average everybody is around 68. But does that really mean that the class was 68 out of 100 or were there some outliers? Outliers meaning um, you know numbers that are way away from the average or the mean and numbers like this for example Raul has a 10 on a hundred Susan has a 14 on a hundred and Abby over here has got a hundred on a hundred so there are some outliers in this data set and uh, for a better representation of the data there's another metric that we can use and that's called a median the way we use the median is equal sign median and the same thing, it selects all the data set. And we look at it, the, the median is 85. So I trust that 85 better represents this data set from like a what's the number in the midpoint perspective uh, than the average 68 because there's a couple of guys, uh, there's a couple of people who got way lower scores in this particular test. So I'll trust that the class is around 85%, you know, in terms of learning efficiency for this particular particular course. Uh, what median does, it takes the midpoint number for this data set. You can see there, there's about 10 numbers here. So for an even amount of numbers, it will take the middle two numbers and average them out. And it's kind of the midpoint of the data set. Mode is done by equal sign mode and you select your data set basically gives you the value that is most repetitive in this data and you can see there's a number here um, 87 that is repeated twice everything else happens once so mode is something that gives us uh, what's the most frequent number that we're getting in the data set so these are the three things that tell you about central tendency of the data what like where is the data centered you know, wh where's what's what's every there? What's the average? What's the median? What's numbers most repeating? Uh, there's another statistics that we just use. This is the bonus for this video. Is the dispersion metric, which is standard deviation. Standard deviation. Um, that's that tells you how far the data set is spread out. Uh, so st we'll do a STDEV in Excel and select these numbers over here and here's 32 32 now 32 is it high or low will depend on as we are comparing various data sets I mean 32 seems like a high number but again if we compare this data set to maybe another class we can say that okay for class number two we had a standard deviation of 18 what does that mean it lower standard deviation means there's less deviation that's there's less dispersion of the data so that's that that means that uh, your 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 randomness in your class scores is less um, a lot more people are closer together in the class in terms of their learning and they're not far apart so that's something uh, that people can do to address their data data analysis so this is really basic data analysis in Excel 